everybody. I'm just going to do a bowl now. If anybody saw the last video of the jug, well, this is the clay from that jug that I reclaimed. I think I must have thrown this piece of clay about five or six times now. and then uh, reclaim properly. I've actually thrown this on a bat this time. I should have thrown that jug on a bat the other day. But, uh, I was lazy. bubbles in this, I can feel them popping. Try to remember to slow this wheel down. I'm used to using a kick wheel, which your foot's always moving, so you tend to get in sync with your hands and your feet. But because I've only got a foot on a pedal here, I forget my foot's there, and it's set a bit high. It's set a bit high this uh, foot peg, so I need to remember to uh, slow down a bit, especially for a bowl. leaving this rim quite thick because I'm going to uh, make an exaggerated lip on the inside when I've uh, finished throwing the body on it. I don't normally throw large pieces, this is just for a bit of practice to get me back into the swing of things. My kiln's only small and to fire just one or two pieces it's not very economical. I've actually got a, a new kiln waiting to get into my workshop but uh, the weather's prevented me from getting it across there, it's a bit big and I need two or three people to give me a lift with it so I'm leaving it outside now wrapped up. a little bit more now.
to get rid of that transition now between the foot of the bowl, the inside of the bowl, and where it goes into the wall. You always end up with a bit of a lump, simply because you've been pushing from the inside at the bit in the beginning, and it tends to give it a slight ridge on the inside. So let's try and push that out now. side of the bowl how you want it because you can't turn that later today I can always turn the outside I don't really like turning too far up the bowl here I really like to just turn the foot ring in it but sometimes you have to slightly different profiled rib here the rubber one Rim anymore. No, that's it. Let's put a little spiral in the centre here. That's for decoration. Glaze will catch on it. Not bad. Let's take a look at the profile of it. This film's as much for me to keep uh, an idea on. Look at how I'm throwing. And it is for. Uh, sharing really. Well, I do like to share everything I do with you. Any feedback is always useful. Okay. I'll just pan up here. You can see I've actually got some uh, insulation in my shed now. Carpeted roof. How decadent is that? And uh, the walls are all insulated right the way through with the uh, underlay. I've got a friend who uh, fits carpets and he's got some old underlay he let me have so makes a lot of difference in here. At least we're above freezing now. <laughs> okay. Talk to you soon.